Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. This video is part of my declutter series where I go through my collection, declutter products that I no longer use or have expired, and I donate or give the products I no longer use to family and friends. Nothing will go to waste unless it is expired, but my collection is honestly just too big. I do need to declutter quite frequently. I've gathered way too many items, and as I mentioned in my previous videos, I have gotten a lot better about spending. I no longer purchase everything under the moon. I'm trying to have a more curated collection and these declutter videos serve that purpose as well. So I asked you guys on Instagram which brand would you like to see me declutter next and most of you said Milani and today I'm going to go through with you guys my Milani collection and declutter products that I don't use or are just unusable because they're expired. So let's get into decluttering. So these are all the items I have from Milani currently. As you can see, some of these are quite old and definitely need to go. Others are newer to me or I've actually never used this powder or this eyeshadow primer. So I definitely need to keep track of my collection because too many times this has happened where I find an unused product that has just been sitting in my drawer for a while unused and I definitely want to avoid that. But let's start with things that I see right away that do need to go. There is this Milani Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder. It has some bubbles in it and I'm not sure what those are but truly this is very old and I'm gonna let go of this. I really don't know what has happened to this but I, this has got to be like several years old so I'm going to declutter this one. I also see that I think I have two of the Luminosos here. Nope, this is Dolce Pink, So, but it looks quite similar. So these blushes, these baked blushes used to be all the rage earlier and I honestly do enjoy them a lot. I am going to keep a Luminoso and then I think I'm going to keep this Dolce Pink as well. I know it's a little bit of a similar shade, but I do really like this formula. Oh my gosh, here's another Luminoso. So I'm gonna let go of one of these Luminosos. I think I'm gonna declutter this older one. It definitely looks a little bit more dry, so I'm gonna hold on to the newer one and let go of the older Luminoso. As you can see, I really did enjoy at that one. I am going to also let go of Rosa Romantica. And this one of the baked blushes was truly more like a highlight, but I think it's too old now as well. I'll test it out and see if it's still usable. Maybe someone will like it, but this was more of a blush topper or a highlight. Then I see this one that is in the shade Red Vino. And this one is just a too a dark, too pigmented for me, for my skin tone. I used this for a, a look that I created for Instagram. It was like a fantasy look. For that purpose, this was really good, but I think it's really old right now. So I'll see if a friend wants it, but if not, I think it's time for it to go. I do think I'm gonna hold on to Dolce Pink. It looks like a beautiful shade, definitely something I can use. And like I said, I did enjoy the formula of these baked blushes. They're very lightweight. Um, you can build them up and I, they are lovely and luminous. I definitely have too many blushes. And now that I'm looking at this powder blush, this one is the Tea Rose shade. Well, it's got my name on it. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. And I did remember that I had a mini in Romantic Rose as well. And I'm gonna keep both of these. I really like this formula. It's very smooth. You definitely won't over apply upon first application. This one, the Romantic Rose is very natural looking and the Tea Rose is really pretty as well. So I'm gonna hold on to both of these. Then I have this one that is in Color Harmony in the Berry Rays and it's unopened. Still got a plastic on it. Definitely going to hold on to this and put it into use. It looks like a beautiful neutral tone. It's got a little bit of a color switch that's more rosy here, turns neutral here. I definitely wanna try this one. So I'm gonna put it on my vanity so I'll definitely get some use out of it. I do think I have some more Milani blushes somewhere now that I think of it. Well, hopefully I'll find them soon and I can use them. 
The next item I'm definitely going to keep is their bronzing powder and this is their Silky Matte Formula in the shade Sunlight. This is honestly one of my favorite bronzers. It just fits my skin tone so well. It's not orangey tone, it's a bit of a cooler tone, but not too ashy. It's just your perfect bronzer, definitely going to hold on to it. I'm also going to hold on to the baked bronzer, this one I have in the shade Dolce. And this one's just got a beautiful sheen to it. It's got this light gold sheen. It doesn't look glittery though. All in all, a great formula, definitely going to hold on to it. I'm not the biggest fan of this packaging that they have, uh, this kind of bulky packaging. It comes with similar brushes underneath. You typically get in your Physician's Formula blushes and bronzers, you know, I would be okay without them. I don't need them. I never use them. So I hope Milani, if they haven't already changed their packaging for these big formulas, I hope they uh, kind of ditch the little brush. It's not great quality and I never use them, but I, I am going to hold on to this big bronzer. I'm also going to hold on to these highlights. I do think I have one somewhere else. This one is in the shade Afterglow. I haven't opened up, never used it. This one has been my favorite, the Moon Glow. This is a beautiful highlighter formula. It's not chunky, it just gives you this very nice glow. It's not super subtle either, but it's not too much. It's just perfect. So I'm gonna hold on to both of these. Now that I look at them, they look a little bit similar, but this one is, I think, slightly deeper maybe, but I'm definitely going to hold on to both of these. And the third one that I think I have somewhere. Speaking of powder products, I have never used this Conceal and Perfect powder. It still looks okay. I think I am going to hold on to this and put it into use. So this one will go on my vanity. I remember people talking about this, so I'm not sure why I have not used it. I just probably forgot that I had it. And I am going to let go of this Prep Set and Glow powder. I decluttered the Prep Set and Go one just a little bit ago. This one's pretty old too, but I never liked it. I don't know why. I know people compare it to higher end glowy powders, but to me this always looked very powdery on my dry skin. Maybe I'm just not the right skin type for it, but I don't use it, so I'm gonna let go of it. I'm also going to let go of the Primalite Face Primer, Strobing Pore Minimizing. This one is super old. It's gotta be like five years old at this point, so it definitely needs to go. The sad part is I haven't even opened it. It's just been in my drawer, so I might open it and see if it's any good, but I highly doubt it. I think it has to go. Another product I'm gonna let go of because it's too old is this one. This is part of the Hypnotic Lights line and this is the Prismatic Light number five. And this is an eyeshadow topper or liquid eyeshadow and I'm gonna get it out of here. This was really pretty, it's just too old now. Let me see if I can swatch a little bit of it. It still swatches, it's just a little bit chunky. But I mean, look at that shift. This is absolutely stunning. I have used it quite a bit. I used to use it more when I did these fancy looks. Absolutely stunning. I had two of these, but the other one I decluttered in a liquid eyeshadow declutter because it irritated my eyes, but this shade did not. This is absolutely stunning. Something I might consider repurchasing at some point if I ever do need this kind of liquid eyeshadow, but I mean, that is just stunning, absolutely beautiful. Let's continue with some eye products. I have a couple of these Bella Eyes gel powder eyeshadows, and these are really old. I don't know if they even sell these anymore, but these used to be like all the rage. I got a lot of these from CVS back in the day, and I mean, I'm gonna swatch a couple of these. That still looks pretty. Let's see the other shade. I mean, they look pretty, but they do definitely feel really dry. And once upon a time, I do think they were a lot creamier because they're supposed to be like this gel formula. They still are really pretty, but I think they've gone bad. They're definitely not anywhere near a gel formula anymore. They're definitely more of a powder formula and felt really dry. So I think I'm gonna have to let go of them. I also have several of the smaller eyeshadow palettes from Milani. These were part of their Everyday Eyes eyeshadow collection. This is Plum Basics. Then I have Bare Necessities. This one is Earthy Elements. And then I have Must Have Naturals. And the last one is Must Have Metallics. And this one, you know what? I don't think I've even opened this one. 
yep, it's still got plastic. My camera ran out of battery, so I'm not sure at which point it cut off, but I was talking about these eyeshadow palettes that I have a five off. And I believe these are all too old. I am going to test this metallic one out just because it's unopened. Maybe it's still okay. I still want to get some use out of it since I never did. However, these ones are so old. I believe these are at least five years old. So this one, Plum Basics, was one of my favorites for a while, but the quality wasn't as good as with the other ones. So I'm going to let go of this one just because it's too old and not a great one. But this one called Bare Necessities was amazing as well as this one called It Must Have Naturals. This one was a little bit cooler tone. I believe this one was my favorite formula wise. So I am going to let go of the one in Earthy Elements and the one in Bare Necessities and just keep this must have naturals for my memory box just because oh, I used to really like these palettes. I like to keep some items as kind of a memento. So this one is going into my memory box, but these three will be decluttered because they are just too old. Speaking of something that's super old is this Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear Eyeshadow Stick. And this one is in the shade Café au lait. And I remember really liking these ones as well. I don't know how many I had, but I do believe I had a couple of others. This one I just found somewhere in the back of my drawer. Again, maybe five plus years old, so I'm gonna let go. But Milani does make really good eyeshadow sticks and pencils, which brings me to this pile of products. I have a couple of eyeliners here and then a couple of lip liners. I'll move those here. So I have their Stay Put eyeliners. I have two in the newer packaging and two in the older one. So this is their best waterproof eyeliner. Honestly, this stays in the waterline. I've used these forever. I have hooked on espresso, which is my favorite, and that's kind of a darker brown. And then this one is called Linked on Black, and this one's a black one, obviously. These are both great. They are pencil shaped and you have to sharpen them. And then I have two in the newer packaging. This one is Femme Fatale, kind of a navy blue and then Moss Boss, which is a mossy green. And these ones are retractable. I think I slightly prefer the pencil ones, which, you know, coming from me is kind of strange. I don't like lip liners that are these wooden sharpened pencils, but these ones I feel like are better in the waterline, plus I can be more precise because I can sharpen them. I think I can sharpen these ones as well, but I still prefer the other one. These do come with this smudging tool at the end, so if you like that, highly recommend both of them. They are simply amazing. I'm going to hold on to all of these. Lip liners, I'm also going to hold on to. These are the Easy Liner for Lips, Retractable Pencil, Most Natural, and this darker one is Sugar Plum. These are retractables, very creamy, super easy to apply, stay put. All around, this lip liner formula is amazing. I don't even know if they make more shades. I think these were the two that I could find. I'm holding on to these until they go bad. They are amazing. And then I have a couple of more lip products. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. I think this one is the newest I have. This is their ludicrous matte lip crayon and I have it in the shade Good Side. This is absolutely an amazing lip product. I like that it's this kind of chubby stick type, but this pigmentation is amazing. That's just one swipe and this one stays put. It's not too drying, it's not heavy at all, it's super lightweight all around, a great product. I can see myself getting other shades of this ludicrous matte lip crayon. If you haven't yet tried these, they are definitely worth it. I also really like their bullet lipsticks. This one is the color statement lipstick. This might be quite old, I honestly don't remember. This is the Naturally Chic shade. And this is one of my favorite shades. It looks fine, I'm gonna hold on to it. This is beautiful, your lips but better shade. Definitely holding on to it. I do like this formula. It's just simply an all around amazing formula. It's creamy but not too creamy. And the shade is just stunning. So naturally chic, definitely holding on to. Then I have two of their liquid lipsticks. This one is the more Matte and I have it in the shade Gorgeous. 
and this one is the Amore Shine, and I have this one in the shade Passion. These might be quite old, but I think this Passion one is a newer one. So here's that Amore Shine, that is a very beautiful red. It applied quite thick, so I'm wondering if it's gone bad. I'm gonna test it one time and then declutter if it's no good, but if it's still usable, I love this kind of red color. Definitely holding on to that one. And then this Amore Matte one has ah, gone bad. I'm going to have to let it go of it. Um, here's just that shade Gorgeous that is very pretty, but it came out clumpy. So I'm definitely going to have to let go of this one. But I do like the Amore Matte formula. There's one more lip product here. This is part of their lip plumping, a keep it full nourishing lip plumper. And let me see if this is any good anymore. I do really enjoy this formula. It looked fine, but the scent is a little bit off, so I'm gonna have to let go of it. But I do like the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper line. This one is my favorite shade, Prismatic Peach. I might repurchase. It's just an amazing lip topper that I can use on top of any lipstick that I need a little bit of extra shine on. It just gives your lips this beautiful sparkle without looking chunky. So definitely recommend these. This one just has gone bad. Next, I have this eyeshadow primer. Now I am wondering how old this is. I'm gonna open it and see, but honestly, this is an amazing eyeshadow primer. If it's gone bad, I might purchase a new one once I run out of the current one that I use because this is such a good eye primer. It truly is invisible, it's lightweight, and it holds on to your makeup so well. Highly recommend giving this a try. If you haven't, I've repurchased this a couple of times, so this is one of those repurchases. If it's still usable, definitely holding on to it. Last, I have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes and a highlighter palette. And this highlighter palette is from their Cellular Lights line and this is the Holographic Beams one. And these shades are stunning. As to say, this formula is amazing. Similar formula to these ones, these strobe lights. And I, I do really like it. Let me see if I can swatch a couple of these shades because they are beautiful. Oh. Just so you guys can see how stunning these are. These shades are absolutely stunning, totally worth holding on to. I wonder if I could use this as an eyeshadow, I'll see. But definitely holding on to the Stellar Lights palette. I'm also going to hold on to both these eyeshadow palettes. The first one I have is Soft and Sultry. This is more of a cool tone one. And then I have Bold Obsessions that is a little bit more warm. And I do really like both these formulas. I will say though, they do need a little bit of work. It's not like they are super blendable, but they're blendable enough for drugstore. And I do like the colors. Uh, let me see if I can swatch a couple of these for you guys. I do think the shimmers definitely perform better than some of the mattes. The mattes are not bad. They're just not as blendable as I would like them to be but the shimmers definitely are amazing quality. I just quickly swatched a couple of them. They don't have names on them, but I swatched this, this, and this shade here. If you guys can see, these are just one swipes. The pigmentation is amazing. If you are looking for a great everyday palette, they are good. I've heard a conflicting information on whether these are available anymore. If they're not, that makes me really sad because this was definitely one of Milani's better eyeshadow formulas. And I just swatched Soft and Sultry for you guys. This one has pretty pigmented matte shades. The only problem is they are sometimes slightly patchy, so you have to work blending them in. But all around, these palettes are amazing. Definitely holding on to both of these, so they will stay in my collection. These are all my Milani products that I currently own. I believe I may have one more highlighter somewhere, but other than that, this is everything. And I calculated that I had 41 products, which obviously is a too much. Now I will be decluttering 16 and keeping 25. This 25 might seem a lot, but I am going to, for example, put this in a memory box 
And then I am going to try out this Moray Shine lipstick. If it's any good, then if not, I'm gonna declutter that one as well. And the same goes for this eyeshadow primer and the powder. But for now, I am keeping all these products. I've definitely purchased less lately. I've been curating my collection better. I've been better at not spending money on just to try out products and then putting them away. So these kind of products that I now have that I've never even tried, these rarely happen anymore for me. I definitely am more particular about how I spend my money. But I have to say Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. And and that explains why my collection got this big. But right now, I definitely am happy with my decluttering. The, all these products that are leaving my collection are mostly expired products. If there's anything that does seem usable, I will of course give it to a friend or family member. But the ones that I'm keeping, I'm gonna add some of these to my vanity so I will get more use out of them. There are some staple products like this bronzer and this lipstick that I've used a lot as well as these lip and eye pencils. So those are not things that I have to worry about. It's more like these products that like this blush that I've never used or this highlighter that I definitely need to put into use. But these were all my Milani cosmetics products. Are there any products that you absolutely love for Milani that I don't have in my collection? Are there any duds that you feel like are not worth the money? Let us know in the comment section. I'd be curious to hear. But let me know your thoughts on my declutters. Do you like these kind of videos or not? I am happy to create more declutter videos since that is something I desperately need to do. So I try to film most of my declutters. But these were all the Milani Cosmetics products I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you subscribe. And if you like these kind of videos and want to see more of their kind, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.